Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Zion Family. What's up? How y'all doing? How y'all feeling? Now y'all happy to be here? Of course you are, duh. And if you're new and you're here for the first time, first of all, let's rewind. <laughs> Rewind. Um, of course, there's someone new right here, right? Of course. Hey, this you is guys. My name is Leona. And my wonderful, wonderful niece. I Ma. just got here. Yes. She came from Jamaica, you guys. She's visiting us, and she wanted to be a part of my videos. So, she's here. <laughs> and now, let's fast forward to what I was saying earlier, what I was saying before. Okay. So, if you're new, you're here for the first time, Leona has something to tell you. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that little bell, and most importantly, share, 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 share. share. And we, and you post every Tuesday. Yes, I upload every single, single Tuesday. Tuesday. So make sure you tune in every Tuesday, yeah. right? Right, okay. And... Get ready for the video because we're starting in five, five four, three, two, one. Hey, you guys. So, this video, I want to start off by telling you guys a true story. Um, one day, I was at my mom's house and it was nighttime, and I was in a relationship in a previous relationship with someone that I used to date at the time. And we were doing, we were doing a Bible study. I believe it was his suggestion for us to do a Bible study. And I don't remember what the topic was about or anything like that, but I just remember him wanting us to do a Bible study. And we did the Bible study and whatnot. And it was okay from what I, re from what I remember. And, then I remember sometime later on that night, later on that same night, I don't remember exactly how it got to this point, only God knows. But I can remember us being in us being in my room and he decides to ask me to wait. Before I say that, <laughs> Let me say this part. So, prior to that point, we had been we had been sexually active in our relationship before, and at a point in our relationship, because I, because of how much I was growing in my relationship with God, the Holy Spirit began to convict me with with um, that area with basically walking in purity and not wanting to do anything sexual anymore, and because I was in a relationship with Him. You know, it was it was an obligation for me to uh, to include him in that to let him know, because if he's in a relationship with me, you know, it's something that he will have to be doing too. So, um, long story short, with that part, he agreed to it. So let's fast forward back to the story that I was saying. So it was already agreed upon for us to not do anything, any sexual activities at all, no, and nothing. So that night out of nowhere i don't even know where this came from but he decides to ask me to do something sexual with him and my immediate response was no and i even looked at him crazy like are you serious like i didn't say like are you serious but my facial expression said it all and i was just like yeah, like no and his immediate response with his demeanor just like switched up and you could tell he was just like angry like it was all over his face and his immediate response at, a response to me saying no was i just seen him pick up his phone and get to text that and he said something like well sis you won't do it and then i just seen him you know on his phone like he's texting somebody so because I said what I said and he responds in that type of way in my mind what I'm thinking he's doing is you're reaching out to another girl so he does that 
and then immediately immediately because i'm just kind of watching him dumbfounded because i'm like is this is this actually happening right now is this actually going on right now i'm like okay cool and so does that and then he gets up and he's kind of like gathering his things and in the middle of gathering his, his things he eventually because i don't even remember if i walked out the room or if i stayed in the room i don't even remember all those details but i do remember at some point he comes to me and asks me to lock the door behind him when he leaves so i'm just like okay and it's crazy how you know god would give you supernatural strength in in situations that you don't even think you will have the strength in <laughs> And so, because it, my old mindset and my old way of going about things, I would have went off. But the, the, the Lord allowed me to keep my cool. So, you know, he's gathering his things and whatnot. And then eventually, I guess in the midst of him gathering his stuff and whatever he was doing, because at that point, I wasn't even paying him no attention. I was just doing some other things just to get my mind off of the fact that that was what he was doing at that point so he then i guess the holy spirit convicts him because he then comes to me and it was just like basically telling me he changed his mind about leaving and i'm just gonna cut the story off at that point so although he changed his mind about leaving and whatnot the very act of him responding First of all, how do you have somebody to be able to text to basically please you in a way that I'm not that I'm not willing to when you're supposed to be in some type of committed not some type a committed relationship. That was my that was my one red flag like huh? There's no way if you're in a committed relationship that you should have somebody to text that fast to be able to please you in any type of way. That was one red flag. The next thing is that you were willing to get up and just dip and leave my house to go about like you that was an attempt to cheat in my face. Like you didn't you didn't care. So I said that story to show how i have experienced toxic situations and being in a toxic relationship and sharing my story and sharing my story I'll, what i want you to get from that is for you to open your eyes if it's not similar in some form form or fashion you're able to recognize things that are taking place in your relationship that can be toxic that you know are toxic but because you're in it you may be blind to it because me I didn't even realize how toxic the person and the relationship itself was was to me until I was out of it and it was through me um, at this point in time right now reflecting back that I was able to see that I was toxic that I was in a toxic relationship and the person was toxic to me and the same thing I want to help you with because you're in it sometimes it's not as obvious that the relationship or the person is toxic to you and it helps a person um it helps it helps for a person that's on the outside looking in to show you to tell you so that you're aware of it and that you're able to once you once you are brought to the awareness of it you are now able to make a decision and i want you guys to know that you are too valuable you are way too valuable to be allowing yourself to deal deal with things that you are allowing yourself to deal with facing things that you are allowing yourself to face with face in your relationship or with a person don't wait until things get bad don't think don't wait until you reach rock bottom with depression to finally realize yo this person is toxic for me yo this relationship is toxic for me no don't do what i did because i waited until i physically seen that the that the relationship i was in affected me negatively emotionally 
physically and even even in different areas of my life when it came to sex what i were areas where i should have success there was a decline so i want you guys to be proactive and be proactive takes you guys allowing the people that god uses are in your life like me to tell you the truth and then you be you have an open heart and an open mind to receive that truth and then apply it to yourself so this week i want you to really sit down and allow god to open your eyes to see whether or not you are truly in a toxic relationship to see if the person you are with you are currently in a relationship with is truly toxic for you toxic to you for you whichever because one person is not worth losing your entire life one person is not worth losing your sanity one person is not worth losing love for yourself dignity for yourself integrity for yourself it's not worth it so right now i'm just gonna pray for you my brother my sister on the other side of the screen because living or having a toxic relationship is not for you it's not what god wants for you so in the name of jesus christ i come against every single way that the enemy has tried to hold you bound has tried to destroy your life has tried to tie your mind down has tried to depress you through people through toxic relationships i come against that right now in the name of jesus i decree and i declare that the will of god that the will that god has over your life will manifest he will that the, that the enemy will not have any power or any control over your mind any power or any control over your body any power or any control over your spirit or your soul or anything else of that matter I destroy the hands of the enemy over your life every evil that was spoken against you concerning you, you in the area of relationships I destroy it right now I use the blood of Jesus to destroy it right now and I blot away every attack every stronghold every bondage that the enemy is using toxic relationships to do to you in Jesus name I command that you are free I command that in the name of Jesus your spirit will be filled with strength your spirit will be filled with life and power to be able to overcome any toxic relationships or toxic people in your life and I decree and I declare right now that you will begin to be filled with the desire to build your relationship with God you will be filled with the desire to become the best version of you and be filled with the desire to move anything out the way that is stopping you from being the best version of you in jesus name i pray amen thank you so much you guys for listening love you you, you made it to the end of the video for making it all the way to the end of the video you guys i already told you before that i upload every single tuesday so i'll see you next, next week tuesday. tuesday bye Yay. you guys